Hello and welcome to our how-to video on installing Mission Control. The Mission Control application is available on the Salesforce platform and you can download it from the App Exchange into your Salesforce org. Uh, it is very quick and easy to install and get set up using the Quick Start Guide. Uh, we offer a 14-day free trial that you can install into your production or your sandbox org. So let's have a look at how we can install Mission Control. To get started with installing Mission Control into your org, the first thing you want to do is go over to the App Exchange listing for it. You can access that by going over to apricacom mc app and it will redirect you to the Salesforce uh, App Exchange listing for it. You'll want to make sure that you're logged in over here and then you can click on get it now. It's going to ask you to select the account that you want to install it into and I've selected the one that I want to install it into and you can choose to install it into your production org or your sandbox org. Now I'm just going to choose production. The trial will last for 14 days and you'll get five subscribers, so five users who can uh, access this trial in within your org. Um, you, you'll have to agree to the conditions and you can continue. Just start to log in one more time. You can choose to install it for admins only within your org or for all users. I would recommend choosing it for admins only just to test out uh, the application. And you can click on install from here. You can grant it access and continue. While this is installing, this is a good point to note that you can control permissions by the permission sets included within mission control. We'll have a look at that in a moment. You will be getting an email um, that the uh, install is complete. So just keep an eye out for that. Once the package is installed, you'll be getting an email uh, like this, where it will state either the mission control package was successful or unsuccessful. Um, so you should be getting something similar to this. Uh, once you do, you can go into your organization and setup and go into install packages uh, you can see the mission control package under the uh, install packages and click on manage licenses so mission control is licensed on a per user basis and when you install mission control you're gonna have to assign licenses to your salesforce users and um, so you can click on add users over here and i'm just gonna for now i'm just gonna add it for tyler lee who's a standard user and just click on add and that's all for licenses. Now you'll give access to them, uh, which you can do that by assigning them permission sets. Uh, there's a number of uh, permission sets uh, that are available uh, by default and come with mission control. So you, you're gonna wanna go into permission set assignments, edit assignments, and search for mission control here. You can go to knowledge-mc.africa.com and there's an article over here, permission sets, that you can go into. And it lists down all of the permission sets that come by default with mission control. And it uh, offers you a little bit more information on what each of those um, permission sets do. So you can go into and um, over here and select which one you want. So for now, I'm just going to select uh, mission control full and I uh, add it for Tyler and click on save. Going into the mission control application. So the next step I would recommend is creating roles for your user um, in mission control. Um, so you can do that by going over to the launchpad and creating a new role from here or from the standalone tab. We do have a separate video which uh, goes uh, more, more in depth uh, in creating roles, teams, and skills. And uh, you'll be able to do that from our training videos section on our website, which is africa.com slash mission control. You'll find the resources tab here, and you can go into training videos to see a number of uh, training videos that we have for uh, mission control. Uh, you can also go into the user guide uh, which is very detailed and it will provide you with a lot of information. Uh, but if you just want to get set up, you can 
you can always use the quick start guide uh, which will help you just get set up once you've installed mission control um, i'll add a link for this uh, in the description of this video that concludes our how to video on installing mission control you can reach out to us if you have any questions through support tickets or through the address that mentioned here uh, you can use our very detailed user guide training videos searchable knowledge base or the learning portal uh, to help understand uh, mission control better um, that's it for today and hope you have a good day